the big winner of the NBA draft lottery, the Cleveland Cavaliers. As it came down to the final pick, Russ Granick, the deputy commissioner, pulled out the Cleveland Cavaliers card. And what a man, Gordon Gunn, visually impaired. Uh, the owner of this team, he's given so much to the Cleveland area over the year. And there he holds the LeBron James jersey. They've made it very clear that the high school phenom from 40 miles down the road in Akron would be their number one pick. And LeBron James joins us live from Akron, Ohio. Did you want Cleveland to have the number one pick? Thus, you could stay home, LeBron. Yeah, I think it's going to be great for me. You know, also for my family that they ain't got to travel across the country to come watch me play. And, uh, you know, growing up, you know, watching the Cavs was great, you know, because it was during the, during the Jordan era. And I think it's going to be great to get to know some teammates and hopefully we can get better. How well do you know those guys? How many Cavs games did you go to this year? I went to quite a few. I know those guys really well. And you know, I just hope that they accept me as a basketball player and um, as a person. You know, I'm just trying to come in and just try to contribute as best as I can. There's no denying this fact. When people have the choice of colleges, a lot of people say, hey, I'd like to go away so I can grow up and become my own man. In this case, as you make the step out of high school, you're not going to be going away from home. Is that going to make the adjustment more difficult for you? Well, I don't think so because, uh, you know, growing up, I traveled a lot because of AAU basketball. And, uh, you know, I traveled a lot this year also in my high school team. So uh, traveling is nothing, you know, nothing big for me. I just think that I'm just really excited about being a Cleveland Cavalier. You signed a deal officially today with Nike, $90 million endorsement deal that's been reported. How does a guy like you, who hasn't turned uh, 20 yet, and won't for a little bit here, sit there and hit the pillow tonight knowing that you have as much money as you would ever want the rest of your life, yet you still have to be motivated to perform on the basketball court? Well, I just, you know, I'm out there doing the things that I love to do, and that's play the game of basketball. That's what's going to motivate me, and uh, playing against great competition out every night in and night out is going to be great. And uh, to choose Nike, it's going to be real great to meet them people and I'm joined by my fellow friend Carmelo Anthony also that's going to be there with me. You know, LeBron, you're not even in the league yet. You haven't had high school graduation. You're handling the segue for the TV guy. Good job. Carmelo Anthony <laughs> is in his home in Baltimore, and Carmelo Anthony is going to join us on a three-way here as uh, we speak to him. Uh, Carmelo, your reaction to what's going on with LeBron, his opportunity to stay at home there in Ohio? Well, I'm just saying I, I understand that uh, the Cleveland Cavaliers got the number one pick, so... I'm assuming that they're going to take him, but we're we going to see him on June 26th. <laughs> At the NBA draft, which we'll have on ESPN. Uh, people are curious, are you guys friends? Do you have a relationship? Do you talk on the phone? LeBron, you first. Well, you know, me and Carmelo, we met uh, a couple years back, and from right then and there, we, we became friends because I just think when two good players just stick together as being friendships off the court, I think it, it makes it a lot more better. And uh, I'm really excited about what Carmelo did for his team this year, and Hopefully he's excited about what we're about to get ourselves into on the endorsement side and on the basketball side. Carmelo, do you and LeBron speak tonight after the lottery was done? Yeah, I talked to him while the lottery was going on. And I, I kind of knew that Cleveland was going to get the number one pick, so it was, I, th I think they rigged it. Now, don't, don't, don't quote me on that, though. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. The process is very in-depth. I could bore you with the details. Both of you guys, LeBron first, what do you need to do specifically with your basketball game to be ready for the huge jump from high school to the NBA in a few months here? I just think the adjustment for me is just adjusting from 27 games to 82 games. I think physically and mentally I'm be ready. And uh, my coaches and teammates is going to help me down that line. I just think that the adjustment from traveling and from 27 games to 82 games is going to be real big. Carmelo, what did you learn through the one year leading Syracuse to the national title that you have to get better at for next year? Well, I mean, I went through a lot of physical play this year. Um, I learned that bas basketball, this game is going to get more physical as I move on in my career. And I just got to get ready to get my conditioning up and get my strength up. Just, just, I mean, just tighten up my whole game all around. Well, guys, I know it's been a long day. We appreciate your time, and we'll be seeing you in New York at the draft next month. Thank all you. All right, thanks, Mike.